Hi everybody, it's Carlin and Ian from The Real Outdoor Experience. Today we're talking about muskie. Muskie are a big freshwater predator and something that Ian is very passionate about. So stand by, we'll get right back to the muskie episode. This Musky 101 episode is brought to you by Black Fly Lures, where names like Hatchet, Double Blade, Metal Buzz, Lizard Skin are not cool names of heavy metal bands. They're names of some serious pike, musky, and bass lures. Check these freshwater killers out at blackflylures.com. So Ian, I'm not a big musky fisherman. Just been out the one time with you, and it's very, very different than other fish. They're an apex predator called the wolf of water. They're a member of the same family and genus as pike. Big, toothy, big fish. When, when you have an opportunity in a, in a freshwater fishing experience to land, you know, 40 or 50 pound fish, it feels like having a, a deer on a clothesline when you're trying to bring them to the, into the boat. It's such an adrenaline. If you've never been musky fishing, try to get out there and do it. You know, you can have a four or five fish day. That's unbelievable. You know, that's a very slow day when you're perch fishing or bass fishing or anything like that. But if you can gear up in your mind that if you have even like a really close call with a, you know, a splash at the boat or a follow, that might be all the excitement that you see that day. But if you get a 25 pound musky Ooh. that grabs your lure and runs and fights and rolls and it's an experience like no other. Muskie are pretty rare and I think catch and release mentality that we've adopted with fishing in the last bunch of years has really helped with muskie populations and we've got opportunities to fish for muskie that we never had 30 years ago. You know populations are getting bigger and I mean, let's face it the technology is enabling us to, to catch fish like that. I mean, imagine using your old spinning rod you know with eight pound mono <laughs> and <you> know, <laughs> trying to drag a 50 pound fish to the boat. Overall I guess muskie is not really about putting food on the table. Uh, for anybody that's considering musky fishing, it's more about the excitement, the adrenaline rush, the experience of the big, big fish. Yeah, if you're looking for a table fare, go to the grocery store. <laughs> it's a whole lot cheaper. Oh, I'll go for some pike. <laughs> pike is such a fantastic food as well. They do tend to share the same bodies of water. Where there are pike, there, you know, you can you know, bump into musky incidentally. If you were targeting musky, you can also you know, hit pike and, you know, using big tackle, you're, you know, generally speaking, you're not going to catch as many fish, but your opportunities to catch a really big fish are greatly enhanced. You know, that said, you can catch a lot of muskie using small baits as well. If you're not getting the follows, if you're not getting, you know, the, the, the attraction that you want, try going with a really small spoon, you know, like a little cleo or, a, you know, the, the smallest Williams that you've got, because there are times where you don't feel like eating a big meal, but you'll take a great. That reminds me of uh, the time we were out and I brought Connor. He had the eight pound test line on and was just kind of fooling around, dragging a lure around the lake, not expecting. And uh, he caught the fish. We'll, we'll show you the fish in a second, but be prepared for those big, big snaps of the line. And uh, you know, away it goes. It's very, very exciting. That was such a great experience. It was. For, for it was a great experience for me just to see this all take place. What a, what a time that was. Subscribe to our channel to ensure you get the next two Musky Fishing 101 episodes on tactics and gear. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Get your kids outdoors. And always, keep it real. Take care for now. <laughs>